Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a circular cast on for a project that will be knit in the round flat. Uh, the example I'm going to use in this video is a pie shawl. So we're going to start with two needles. We're going to do this over two 24 inch circular needles. These are number sevens. The red is chow goo lace tip and the blue is high high sharp and I'm having worsted weight wool yarn. You want a smooth yarn for this cast on. If you use anything that has fuzz or a roughness to it, this particular cast on won't work. You'll have to use a different one. So what we're going to do is we start with the tail over here and I put my fingers here. I use three fingers. You can use two, whatever you want. But I wrap the yarn around my fingers twice with a couple inches of tail remaining. You don't want them to twist. I'm just do it again. Just go around my fingers twice. Just like that. The advantage of going around twice is that this cast on will not become loose as you're working as other cast ons do. So we're going to start. We're going to use the red cable as our number one needle and the blue cable as our number two needle. I don't always use two different colors. I'm just doing it for the purposes of the video to keep you help you get keep from getting confused on which needles doing what. So we're going to start by casting on the stitches over this double loop and I'm going to go through the center of the loop first and put a stitch on my needle. So I just went through under both yarns, pick up a stitch, bring it under both yarns and up like this. So we have one stitch and then we make a yarn over. Let me make this bigger so you can see better. Then we go through the loop, pick up a stitch, that's number three. See this one's real loose here, that's okay, it's still stitch number one right there. Stitch number four is a yarn over. Go through the loop, pick up stitch number five, we're going to do nine. Yarn over for six, go through the loop, get seven. Yarn over for eight, and through the loop for nine. Now, this will st it starts to look really messy about now, but that's okay. You can take this tail, let's go back down to single increase, and pull on the tail, and you can tighten up this tail a little bit. Pull up some of that extra yarn. See how it tightened up? So now it's not quite so loose, loosey-goosey. So we've got nine stitches on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the last one cast on, and we're going to knit in a circle, so that means this is going to be the first stitch that we're going to be knitting into. So at this point, we're going to put half the stitches onto our blue needle. Now nine is not divisible by two evenly, so we're just going to slip four stitches onto the blue needle. Leave five on the red needle. So we've got four stitches on the blue, five on the red. And we know that our last cast on stitch is right here. When I pulled on the working yarn, it tightens that up. So that means our first stitch is going to be right here. So that means that the red needle, we need to have it up on the tip of the other end ready to go to make that first stitch. That helps us when we know where the first stitch is going to be. It's this big loose one here. And then we can pull the blue needle onto the cable because it's going to be in the resting position while we work on the red cable. So now we're going to turn everything because we knit like this. We're just turning it. That first stitch is really loose. It's actually connected to the tail and when we tighten up everything, it'll tighten up. We get our working yarn. The working yarn is coming from the blue cable right here. Our last stitch is right here on the blue cable. See it? So our first stitch is going to be right here and that tail is giving us that big loose stitch, but that's okay. We'll tighten it up in a minute. Don't worry about it. We're just going to knit across the red needle with the other end of the red needle, red to red. And we're knitting normal tension. One, two, three, four, five. 
then the red needle's done. So we pull it through to the cable to the resting position. We turn our work and pull the blue cable up into action. So I call them resting position and the action. So we've got our five stitches down here on the red cable. Here's our working yarn coming from the red cable so we know this has to be the first stitch here because we're going in a circle, right? We get the other end of the blue needle in our hand and we're going to knit these four stitches. Now we're ready to snug up. We're going to put them both onto the cables. We're ready to snug up that cast on. We can see it's, it's pretty good right now, but we want it tight. Here's our tail. This is the tail right here. Let's go back down to single. Here's the tail. Here's the working yarn. What we're going to do now is we're going to pull on that tail very firmly. Not firmly enough to break the yarn, but firmly enough to get all this yarn, those two loops, to slide through. And I put my thumb right over the top of this so you really can't see it sliding. But I'm sliding it through and you can feel it slip. Got a little bit more. See this stitch is still loose right here. So we need to pull a little bit more. That's the end of the tail. And you'll feel it slip. And there it goes. So now we've got this really nice center little cast on. Do you see that? Now, where did we leave off? Here's our working yarn. It's attached to this stitch. That means that's the last stitch that we worked. So we've got the blue cable down here. Our last stitch, our last working stitch is coming from the blue cable. So that means that our red cable is next. So we're going to push the stitches up onto the red cable. At this time the tail has gotten a little bit long. So I'm going to trim it off because I always accidentally pick it up. I'm going to leave three or four inches so I can weave it in later but I don't want it so long that I accidentally pick it up and work with it. Now for the pie shawl which is what we're starting now since we have our lovely little center cast on there the pie shawl we're going to knit a stitch this is the increase round. Knit one yarn over. Knit one yarn over. Knit one yarn over. Knit one Yarn over, knit one, and the yarn over at the end. Don't forget that. And just put it around the needle. It'll stay there. You can hold it with your fingers as you turn the work. So you're bringing the red cable to the resting position. You're going to put the blue cable up into the action position. And we know that our cable was right here where we made our yarn over. So the very first stitch has to be on the blue cable. And we're going to continue with the increase round. So we knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. Keep the yarn over on there. Turn the work. That The blue needle's coming into the resting position. The red needle's coming up into action. And then we would knit around, and I'm going to show you how to knit this round also because we've got those yarn overs at the end. You want to make sure you do not forget the yarn over. So that's one. So we should have twice as many stitches. We should have ten stitches on this needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and here's the yarn over ten and then we're going to turn we bring the red needle into the resting position turn bring the blue needle up into action and we're going to knit across the blue stitches so a pie shawl this is exactly how a pie shawl starts you start with You can use any central cast on you want. This is the one I use. And then you work one round in knitting. 
and then an increase round, which is knit one yarn over all the way around. Here's the last yarn over. Then you do three rounds of no increases, and then an increase round, then six rounds of no increases, then an increase round, then 12, increase 24, increase 48. Do you see the pattern there? So you're always doubling the number of stitches when you do the increase rounds. Now do you see how our cast on has not come out? And it won't come out because we did that double loop around there. That keeps it tight the whole time. All of the other central cast ons that I have used, they continually loosen up and you're always tightening them up as you work. Now you might have to practice this one a couple of times. The first few times that I did it, I ended up with a big mess. So it may be that it takes you two or three times or four or five times to get a nice little central cast on like this, but it's worth the effort. This video is in conjunction with a tutorial that I'm doing, a skill building tutorial for lace work. It's available on Ravelry. It's not quite up yet. When it is, I'll put a link in the description of this video and you can uh, participate in that if you'd like. I hope you give me a thumbs up down there and like my video. I hope you share my video with your friends and subscribe to my channel and come back and see me again. Happy knitting!